Γεια χαρά. Ωραία. Σπύρο, δεν σαν είναι ωραία. όλοι έτοιμοι. Ξεκινάμε, έτσι. Λοιπόν, ναι. Γιατί, οπότε, ξεκινάμε. Πα, το παίρνεις πάνω σου, ξεκινά το. Είμαι εδώ, γιατί έχω και με τον Πρίτανη ένα... Οκ. Okay. So, uh, good morning to all our incoming students for the winter and full year. And you will attend a marvelous Erasmus period in our university. I'm quite certain about this. And uh, firstly, uh, I have to thank all the participants of this uh, orientation event. And uh, we shall start with Professor Haldeakis, who is uh, the member of the Administration uh, Council of our university. Please. Thank you very much. Good morning, dear international students. Let me express on behalf of the National and Kapodistrian University of Athens my warm welcome. I express my heartfelt appreciations for the 340 students from 31 countries who have selected to study at our university. Except from Erasmus students from European countries, this autumn semester, our international students come also from China, Taiwan, Pakistan, Palestine, Nigeria, Ecuador, Colombia, Peru, Brazil, and USA. In the framework of the Erasmus Mundus program and the international bilateral cooperation agreements, we are honored that you have selected to study at our university, which is the oldest higher education institution in Greece and the first university of the Balkan and Eastern Mediterranean area. Its foundation dates back to 1837. This diversity of students from all corners of the world helps broaden the base of understanding among them. And this is the reason why we applaud you for your willingness to embrace new cultural experiences. Clearly, we live and work in a global society. Studying, learning and sharing knowledge together prepares all of us for work and collaboration in a global society. Especially for research universities like ours, Internationalization is reflected in dealing with the impacts of interlinked global challenges. Here, we seek to share and develop broader cultural understanding and a more complete view of the world around us. There is much to be gained through international and intercultural connections and the National and Kapodistrian University of Athens. Here in Athens, we do everything we can to facilitate the exchange of people and ideas. Our international students are valued members of our community and we have resources to support you throughout your academic career. They are all. Your joining our university comes with a lot of expect expectations on our part, your parents, colleagues and lectures. All of us want to see you succeed in your studies. I argue to make the most out of the wonderful opportunity that the University of Athens offers. It is truly a learning experience that transcends boundaries. The courses at our university aim at contributing to increasing your skills in your field of study, but also in a wider context at contributing to the development of the society. You are here to study, for sure that is the main focus of an academic program, but I hope you will also have time to avail yourself of all the varied cultural and social programs that the University of Athens has to offer, and that you have time to enjoy each other's company, not only the classroom. Last but not least, I hope that you take time to explore and enjoy Athens as the interaction with this cultural city is of high importance. These are personal experiences you will keep for the rest of your life. But it is not only you that will benefit from them. When you go back to your university, 
after your studies in Athens, you will bring a whole new set of experiences and perspectives to your fellow students, your teachers and your friends. I also encourage you all at the end of your studies to give us your opinion as to what inspired you, what works well and what could have been better. Thank you for selecting our university for your studies and welcome to our country. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Professor Haldakis, for your heartwarming speech. Uh, next to our agenda is Professor Karakatsuli, who will show all the needed information about the elective course of the contemporary Greece, history, arts, and letters. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning and welcome to you all. I'll share a PowerPoint to help us through. Is it okay? Okay. So the elective course Contemporary Greece, History, Arts and Letters is a course offered in English, offered by the Department of Theatre Studies. And it's a modular uh, seminar covering all these aspects. I will uh, develop it further. It is offered uh, two times, twice a year. Also, it is repeated in the, during the Easter uh, spring semester with a different code. Uh, for each semester, and uh, I strongly advise you to visit the E-class uh, section de devoted to this course. It contains all valuable information. The course is taught by uh, several colleagues, uh, each covering a section uh, related to the subject matter of uh, this seminar, history, language, literature, museology, theater, cinema and music. It is uh, it's taking place at the School of Philosophy uh, in uh, the University campus of Zografu at uh, room 430. And it lasts for seven weeks with two lectures per week uh, on Tuesdays and Thursdays from uh, three to six o'clock in the afternoon. This is the detailed schedule of the lecture. I hope I will be able to share this uh, with you. I'll send it to the International Relations uh, the Department of our university so they can send it to you and you can have all this uh, information anytime available. For this course, attendance is mandatory. And uh, the uh, at the end of the, the semester, you uh, should deliver an essay written on any subject matter we have covered during the semester. That means you may choose to write something on history or on art, on theater, on cinema, etc. It's up to you. You are completely free to choose your uh, topic, uh, but you have to uh, discuss about it with the professor that taught the, this section so that you may sure that uh, this is an, a suitable uh, subject matter you have chosen. The final essay should be between 5,000 and 8,000 words, and it gives you six ECTS units uh, to take back to your home university. And as you all well know, no, uh, the assignments uh, are uh, something that may take uh, longer than expected, so uh, I strongly advise you to uh, contact the professors uh, the, at shortest notice to show that you have ample of time to uh, write your essay. You can uh, conduct your research uh, in any library in Athens. Uh, the Library of the School of Philosophy is open to you. It's a new building, uh, very uh, pleasant to study in it. This, you have an overview. Your academic coordinator is Associate Professor Georgia Varzeliotti. Here are her contact details. 
you should register if you are interested in this course uh, between September 27 and October 14 uh, by sending an email to all three uh, mails uh, you see here. And you have to give the, this uh, information so that we can contact you and your coordinator uh, in any time uh, there is, uh, this is needed. For all academic uh, details and uh, questions, you may contact also these uh, persons that are there to help you. And the course begins uh, on October 17, and it begins with uh, history. That is my subject, uh, so I will be expecting you with uh, great pleasure to welcome you at the School of Philosophy and uh, answer any questions and queries you may have. I don't know if we now have the, the possibility to ask to, to answer questions if there are any. So I wish you all a very pleasant stay and fruitful stay in Athens and uh, at the Athens University more specifically. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Karakatsuli, for your impressive and very interesting speech about the elective course. I suppose that most of the students will participate in this great course. We hope so. Yeah, I'm quite sure about this. So, uh, next to our speakers is Professor Magana, who's a member of the teaching staff of the Modern Greek uh, Language Teaching Center. And uh, she will make a presentation of the center. Okay, sorry about that. Kalispera, yasas pedia. Hello to everybody. Dear students, I'm very happy I'm here today to present the Modern Greek Teaching Center of the National and Cappadocian University of Athens. To the Daskalio Neas Elenikis Glossos. Okay, so hello again. I'm here to talk about the Modern Greek Teaching Center of uh, the National and Capodistrian University of Athens. To the Daskalio Nes Elenikis Glossas, as we call it in Greek. Uh, the Daskalio is a place full of colors, positive energy, dynamic, a place that still fascinates me after 31 years of teaching. Uh, the teaching of modern Greek began initially with a very limited number of students in the 19, 1950s, alongside the teaching of foreign languages within the framework of the lessons and events offered to the students by the Foreign Language Teaching Center of the University of Athens. The continuously increasing demand for the learning of modern Greek, the hundreds of students in the beginning had expanded to thousands by the 1990s, led to the establishment of an independent modern Greek language teaching center, an independent Rivescalio. On the 10th of February 2000, the Senate prov approved the construction of a building situated in the university campus to host Rivescalio. Following the Senate decision of the session of the 1st of August 2019, Vidas is an independent and autonomous academic unit. It's administered by a five member administrative board, which is appointed by the Senate decision following recommendations by the rector. Vidas is the largest, largest of its kind in the world. During the academic year 2000, 
2002 and 2000. Um, uh, sorry, no matter the thing you're not in the Afghanis. I cannot. I'm sorry, we have some technical problem problems here. Okay. No, okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, the Dascalio is the largest of its kind in the world. During the academic year 2022-23, 1,349 uh, 1, students from 83 countries trusted us and attended our language courses. The, uh, core, the aim of uh, the Modern Greek Teaching Center are the teaching of Modern Greek as an additional language, the exposure to the Greek culture, the certification of level B2 Greek language knowledge for those who are interested as well as potential students of Greek higher level institutions. Uh, I will skip all uh, the, uh, the details to go straight to the courses. Uh, the students who attend the various classes of modern Greek at the Scalio comprise an audience of different places of origin, ages, educational background, and goals. They enroll in the classes with different levels of Greek knowledge, some with more or less time at their disposal. In order to meet the needs of its students, the Scalio provides programs with varied duration, eight or six months and five week courses, different levels of knowledge, beginner, intermediate and advanced, different times of lessons, morning, noon, afternoon or evening classes and intensity, intensive or less intensive programs. Students that uh, attend at least 80% of the lessons, uh, as indicated by the register of attendance, are awarded ECTS credits, six ECTS credits per semester. With respect to the Erasmus program, uh, the years 2009-2022, as you can see in this graph, 2,549 students from 58 different countries learn Greek in our classes. Erasmus students of the University of Athens do not pay the fees for their participation in the single semester. The teaching staff of the Dascalio have many years of specific uh, experience, hold a master's degree in applied linguistics, are PhD students and or have PhD degrees. They use their own material for their classes and several books are being published as a result of their teaching experience. Uh, apart from the language lessons, a variety of cultural events attract students' interest every year. Uh, the Dascalio organizes visits to museums and archaeological sites each month, as well as excursion to areas of historical interest. The guided tours take the form of a lesson in accordance with the level of Greek knowledge of the students, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Uh, students are uh, also given the opportunity to form a more holistic image of the Greek culture as the museums and archaeological sites visited represent the full spectrum of Greek history. And they may also attend theatrical production and other activities with their teachers. But I think you'll better you'll get a better idea uh, about all the things we do there at the Scalio through the eyes of our students. So we'll show you uh, first, uh, we can read what uh, Eva wrote about the summer program she attended in July 2023. So um, uh, as she writes, the Dascalio is an inclusive university where all Hellas lovers from all over the world can enjoy learning Greek. One of the greatest assets of the program is the skill facilitation and methodology involving formal and non-formal learning, experimental learning, community learning. Modern Greek is taught via content language learning processes from very basic users of the language up to the advanced levels. 
The program gives students the opportunity to indulge in the Greek summer, writes Eva, using the notion of experiential learning. And let me finish my short presentation with some photos and short videos if we have the time that can, exp can explain why our students love the Scalio. So during our classes, during our lessons, we help each other, we become teachers in turns, we test ourselves, we play roles, or we just play. It's very difficult, believe me, you cannot play a tavli and eat male macarona at the same time. It's very challenging. We also dance and sing, or we dance and sing. We share cultures. So here, for example, our student from Brazil is teaching us how to dance a traditional dance from Brazil. Uh, that, and we can... <laughs> Here comes the rain, and here comes uh, the snake, <laughs> and that's what they have to do when the snake comes. Okay, and uh, uh, we also decorate, uh, we create our environment um, during holidays or just because we love decorating and we love creating. We have different kinds of exhibitions where we can, here we can see one of them where students present their paintings in interactive ways and they can either show their own work or uh, team work, peer work, group work. Um, what, fascinate, uh, what fascinates us most of the time, most of the time is the process. And uh, okay, the result can be very, interesting as well but we enjoy the process we also learn more about how hobbies we decide what to do like gardening or dance and we immerse in greece and the greek culture we also like celebrating as i said before either because uh, we have a christmas holiday uh, uh, for christmas or for ca the carnival or just because we like celebrating we like going places uh, visiting archaeological sites pick for picnic or for uh, a taverna and we are always very very serious as you can also see in this we all we enjoy our classes uh, i'm sure you will enjoy uh, learning greek with us so learning greek can be an exciting experience and greek language will not be greek to you anymore after our courses you will just say elinika parakalo speak in greek please thank you very much okay thank you miss magana for your impressive and even more interesting, I would say, presentation, as it seems the Greek language uh, teaching center is doing the best of its possibilities. It's quite amazing what you are producing with your students and what are the outcomes. I'm sure that all the students that take this course learn more than Greek and mainly so let's uh, continue with the short presentation of our university. It is uh, a video that you will see right away. Thank you.
So, uh, this short presentation uh, showed the national and international dimension of our university, which spans more than 180 years. So, um, next uh, speaker would be Ms. Potini Frida, who is the uh, head of the Department of the European and International Relations of our university. Uh, unfortunately, due to personal reasons, uh, she could not attend the orientation. So next is uh, Ms. Anna Hudala, uh, and she will show us, she will present uh, the libraries of our university. So next, Anna Hudala. Dear colleague, dear students, good morning to you all. Uh, dear students, on behalf of uh, the library director, Mr. Balsamis Balsamakis, and all of my colleagues, I would like to welcome you to the National and Capodistrian University of Athens, and in Athens, of course. Uh, uh, sorry for this. Uh, we all hope that you will find the whole experience rewarding and that you are going to make some great memories in the process. Uh, now we have prepared for you a short uh, introductory video presentation of, uh, the, li uh, of the library. And uh, we hope to see you all in person in our facilities. Thank you. I, I'll have the video now. No? Sure. Yeah. Bueno.
Το βίντεο και εγώ πρέπει να πω από την αρχή, εγώ ακούστηκα. or visitors, of course. A short guide including the physical locations, the email addresses, the telephone numbers, and the opening hours for each of the nine branch libraries will be sent out to you. Now, right here you have we have the news and announcements, and as you probably guessed, it's news regarding the library. Most recent ones go on top. And as you scroll further down, you get to earlier announcements. This button right here takes you to our Facebook page. This is the main page, but branch libraries have The Library Information Center of the National and Capodistrian University of Athens is one of the three largest Greek libraries along with the National Library of Greece and the Library and Information Center of the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. Their students Our library were... offers a selection of more than one million items of books, maps, etc., as well as more than 350,000 issues of scientific journals. Albert Einstein once said that the only thing you absolutely have to know is the location of the library. And that's a valid point, correct? In our case, it's a bit more complex, and that's because NKUA library actually consists of nine branch libraries, one for each of its nine schools. To top that, those nine branches in turn are spread into 13 locations. Three of those branch libraries are located in Central Athens, three are located at the Grafo University campus, one is located close to the School of Medicine, one is located close to the School of Physical Education and Sports Science, and the last branch library is located at Psachna University campus on Evi Island. Now, let's talk a bit more about why you should consider becoming a member. You can borrow books that come with you. You can use the library computers. And through membership, you have access to a number of various sources, both on location and remotely. 
The process of becoming a member is quite simple. Once you receive your academic ID, you can apply for membership at your school's library. Once you are a registered member, you can borrow books from online branch libraries. But please note that books must be returned to the branch library you borrowed them from. Lastly, keep in mind that all books must be returned before you leave to fly back home. Now, for the last part of this presentation, I will be showing you a bit more about our web page and how to use our online catalog. So, this is the library's web page, and on here you can find pretty much any information you might need regarding the library. Through the top bar menu, you can find information about our history, our services, our collections, and of course, the branch libraries. Now, I would like to talk a bit more about some things we consider important and explain these buttons down here as well. Let's start with open access. Open access is considered to be the free and limited online access to all kinds of scientific research results. NKUA and the library support open access, and I highly encourage everyone to read through the dedicated page because firstly, it's an interesting read, and secondly, open access is a new framework for scientific research and will be the future of it. Now, this button here takes you to our institutional repository where you can find research publications and all theses produced within NKUA. This right here is our help desk. You can ask any question regarding the library on here. Of course, you can also email us, call us, or visit us, of course. A short guide including the physical locations, the email addresses, the telephone numbers, and the opening hours for each of the nine branch libraries will be sent out to you. Now, right here you have we have the news and announcements, and as you probably guessed, it's news regarding the library. Most recent ones go on top, and as you scroll further down, you get to earlier announcements. This button right here takes you to our Facebook page. This is the main page, but branch libraries have also their dedicated Facebook pages, so I would suggest you follow them as well. Before actually showing you the catalog, I would like to point out two things. The catalog includes the collections of all nine branch libraries, and it provides the location of the item, its call number, and its availability. So, back again at our web page. Um, from the top bar menu um, on services, we select the OPAC catalog. And from here, you, we press connect to OPAC. Once we connect, we are in the um, catalog page. This URL is the one I've included in the previous slide, actually. So, if you, can, if you want, you can favorite that and you can get directly to the search page. So, we'll be doing the basic search and we'll be entering some keywords, actually a title, and we'll press search. So, we have three results and um, as you can see, it's the same book, The Organic Chemistry of Duct Design and Drug Action. And uh, it's... Um, <coughs> You can see it's various editions. So here we have the location. It's the Library of the School of Sciences and the call number, which is most usable so we can find the book on the shelves. And the status. On shelf means it's actually in the library and you can check it out. So when you get a message like this, though, it means two things. One, that um, this particular book is overdue and um, that someone has already borrowed it. And in this case, we have the withdrawn status, which means that this copy 
is damaged and um, cannot be borrowed. Thank you for your attention. We are really sorry. There was a problem with the sound. Uh, I believe that you heard everything, uh, but even not, uh, we are waiting for you and we are looking forward to seeing you in our facilities. So we'll meet you in person. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Ms. Kundala, for the presentation of the library system and all the facilities that you have. And I'm sure that the students will visit the relevant departments. So uh, now we have the welcome speech of uh, uh, the ESN CAP activities by Paulina Manolopoulou. Uh, I urge you to listen to her very actively since they are the most, let's say, joyful activities. Hello, everyone, dear Erasmus students. Welcome to us. Okay, so let's start again. Hello everyone and uh, dear Erasmus students, welcome to Athens. My name is uh, Paulina Manolopoulou and um, I am the communication manager of ESN CAP Athens. I'm here. Okay, so I'm gonna start for one more time. <laughs> Hello everyone, dear Erasmus students, welcome to Athens. My name is Paulina Manolopoulou and I'm the communication manager of ESN CAP Athens. I'm here today to make a presentation, obviously, and to tell you about ESN and ESN CAP Athens. Let's start. What is ESN? ESN is the acronym of the World Erasmus Student Network. Erasmus Student Network is the biggest non-profit, non-political student organization in Europe. And it's based on volunteer work and the principle of students helping students. At this point, the network counts more than 520 local associations in 44 countries. 19 of them are based in Greece. Here you can see the map of the countries and the ESN sections. Let's continue talking a bit more about uh, what ESN CAP Athens is. Who are we? We're mainly students of the University of Athens. Most of us have already lived the Erasmus experience for more one or more times. And that's a big plus for you guys, because we're aware of the needs of an exchange student, 
and what the uh, Erasmus student is looking for. Our goal is to help and support the Erasmus students of the university and promote mobility in our university and Greece. Here you can see some photos of our team while we are making, uh, we're planning the events or while uh, we are in uh, some conferences and in our meetings. As we already told, we're here to help you. How can we do that? Firstly, providing support with accommodation issues. We have a Facebook group called Erasmus Accommodation in Athens by ESN in Athens, and some accommodation guides on our website, esnkappa.org. Secondly, we support you with academic issues. For example, registration for an academic ID. Last but not least, we offer the ESN card. What is the ESN card? It's a membership card that every exchange student should have. It costs 12 euros and it's valid for one year. By having it, you get benefits with discounts on our events, early bird registrations, and special offers from our partners. Some of our local partners are Tragos, an all day bar located in the area of Chiri, Enastron, the perfect place to combine a good coffee with a good book, and Dental Smiles in case you need a, dent a dentist. Except for our local partners, we have agreements with international ones like Ryanair, Flixbus, and Tomorrowland. For the discounts, you can get informed from our social media and ESN card. Our ESN section organizes the Barry system. Barysystem.eu is a site in which you can apply to be matched with a local Greek student. It's important to have a Greek body helping you and living the cr a cross cultural experience together. I hope you have already applied for a body, but if you haven't done it yet, now is the time. Tomorrow, Tomorrow evening, we have our first event where you can meet your buddies. In addition, we organize several social activities. We offer an introduction month uh, full of events like cultural visits, uh, trips, fun and well-being activities and parties. For our events, you can stay informed via our social media, the website and the group chats. I'll give you more information about them later. Here is a introduction month, but you can find it also in our social media. And now it's the time to make an official announcement for our lovely four day trip to Santorini. It will take place on the famous island of Santorini with a breathtaking sunset at the end of October. We'll announce soon more information about the program, the registrations and the payment process. Here is a small video of last year's Santorin trip. I hope you all enjoyed the video, by, but I can guarantee that uh, the whole trip is in a, another level of experience. Apart from the Santorini trip, ESN Greece offers a winter national event that is called the Epirus trip. 
The Epiro strip aims to give incoming students a taste of Greece traditions, customs, social and environmental activities. We'll explore Ioannina, Zagorohoria, and Metsovo, and it's going to be an unforgettable experience. This trip has its own Instagram profile. It's called the Epiro strip. So go and give a follow. Our section has profiles on several social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So we're waiting for your follows. If you want, you can take a picture of this slide in order to find us later. Our communication group chats are two. The first one, is a WhatsApp group. Please take one minute and scan the QR code. Here you can interact and meet other students and find out about cool places and things to do. I hope you're ready guys, so I can continue. The second one is a private Facebook group where we upload all the events that the SN Cup Athens organizes for you. So you can stay up to date. Please take again one minute to scan it. From now on, you are part of the Erasmus generation. Follow their account and share experiences with other Erasmus students. Remember, your Erasmus starts now, and we're here to make it unforgettable. Have a great time in Greece. Thank you all. If you have any questions, you can reach us through our social media. See you soon. Okay, so thank you very much, Paulina, for your vibrant presentation of the activities of the ESN Cup Athens. I'm sure that all the students will try to participate in every activity. Uh, due to some difficult uh, technical, um, let's say, issues that we faced, uh, I would like to repeat again that uh, Miss Frida the head of the European and International Relations uh, Department uh, was not able due to personal reasons to attend and participate uh, in our event. So in, in any case, uh, that was the orientation day. We thank you for attending it. And I'm quite sure that you will have fruitful studies at our university. So I wish you all the best and we'll be in touch. Thank you.